Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can use Cron to schedule and automate jobs in Kali Linux. So Cron allows us to schedule or automate repeated tasks, and we can achieve this using the Cron tab program. So the Cron tab program is what we'll use to create and uh, schedule the jobs. What we'll need is a Cron tab file, and there's a specific format we have to follow. I'm gonna show an example of uh, the format that's required. Now there is this format right here, where you have to specify these five items. Now, the first one is going to be, you have to specify the, the minute, which can be between 0 and 59, the hour is between 0 and 23, uh, day of the month, month of the year, and then day of the week. You have to put the numbers here, and then at the end, you have to point to your script or your command that need to be, uh, needs to be executed. Now, there's an example, a few examples here. For instance, if you wanted your command to be executed daily, you put a zero, zero. This says uh, at midnight, and then any day of the month, any month of the year, and then any day of the week, that's daily. And then this is the same as midnight. And then for weekly, you just have to put zero, zero. That's going to be midnight. And then any day of the month, any day, uh, uh, any month of the year. And then this is going to be zero represents the first day of the week. And then you also have the annual one and uh, yearly, which are the same. Now we'll go ahead and uh, do the steps required here. Now, so for the command, I have a script that's going to be our cron job. This is the script right here. And we'll do cut cron test script. And what it's pretty much doing is it's just going to output this this file right here so it's going to write this every time it's executed it's going to write to this file now let's go ahead and uh, actually make this uh, executable and uh, we'll do ch mode uh, plus x for um, the script and now it's uh, executable. Now, the next thing I need to do is we actually have to create a file with, which is going to list that format for the cron tab. So the next thing we need to do is create a cron tab file with the correct format. That's going to point to the script. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to open a file here. I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to call it test cron and let me put a comment here it's gonna be run every run every two two minutes this is the format it's gonna be star two i'm gonna put that for the hour for the day of the month for the month and the, for the week and then here i'm gonna point to that script um, test script escape. Now we can list and this right here is the file with our job schedule. We can view the contents of it. And there it is. Now we need to actually install this file, cron tab file, to our jobs or cron jobs. And we'll need the cron tab command to do this. And we can actually check if we have any scheduled jobs. And you can use cron tab L. No jobs listed for us. So let's clear this. Now to install the file, we just need to use cron tab, then the name of the file. Test cron. We'll use the same cron tab dash l. And this time it's showing us the file that we created. Now the command we just ran as it will schedule the a job for us. 
So this job has been scheduled and this script should, should run every two minutes. Let's go ahead and check our file. So this is the file that the output is going to be sent to based on our script. Again, this is the script. It's going to output to this file. It's going to write to that file. Now, since it's appending to that file, let's go ahead and see if there's anything in it. So current test. One. So there's nothing in it so far. So two minutes haven't passed yet. I believe let's do let's check the logs let's check the syslog uh, logs and see if there's anything to do with on in there that's gonna be in var log syslog and we're seeing some logs I'm trying to see if there's anything that's saying anything about the file we created. So this log is listing the script that we created that's supposed to be executed. What we'll do is we'll do the cut command again to see if anything has been written. And at this time, we do see that that has been appended to the file. So this will keep happening every two minutes. Now pause, what I'll do is I'll pause the video and I'll come back maybe after a few minutes to see if there's any more entries. Okay, let's check the file again. There you go, we have another entry. Check the log again. As you can see, there's another log message pointing to showing that that script was executed that belongs to Kali, the user Kali. There is other uh, options for the cron tab command. For instance, we have the cron tab dash e for editing your uh, cron job, and then there is a cron tab dash r that can remove all your cron jobs. So let's repeat the cron tab dash l command. As you can see, we have that job. We can remove it. Then dash r. And if we repeat the cron tab dash L, now there are no more cron tab jobs for this user. And that command we just executed right here dash R removed all the cron tab jobs for us. So that's pretty much it. That's how we schedule jobs using cron. I hope that this has been. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.